But all pain, whether it manifests in the spirit or the body or the heart for emotion or in the brain for mental, it's all coming from the same place. Feeling severed, alone, which is why the base fear of everybody is to be alone and abandoned and rejected. And at a very deep level, you and I need to know that that is the essence of our trauma. We feel on a very deep level that Hashem doesn't love us because He cast us away and He sent us into this world. So on a very distorted level, on a soul level, the soul feels cast away by its Creator. That's the essence of all pain. It's to come to a resolution that Hashem didn't cast us away. And He never did. And at the baseline of all your experiences and my experiences, it all comes from Hashem, you abandoned me. You're not here with me. I'm alone. Why did you do this? You don't care about me. At the baseline of all pain, even with your husband and your child and your parents and your siblings and everyone, it's the feeling of Hashem left me and is not here helping me. Look at, chart all your, all your pain. You will find the common thread in all of the pain. So that means that what's the pathway back? Seeing that Hashem was here with me after all. Finding Him in that experience. And how do you find Him? Seeing what you're meant to do from within that painful experience. There's always a call to action. There's always something. Remember, it's all energy. What does the energy mean? Something needs to happen. Something needs to become of this. It can't be left in its raw form. Because when it's left in its raw form, I haven't done what I needed to do. There's energy that has not been processed. Nothing is supposed to stay as is. We are proactive co-creator beings, which means we're always supposed to do something about everything. If it's good, it could be better. If it's painful, it could become better. Everything can always be elevated. And why? How do you know this? How do you know this? Because we are made of godly stuff. What is God? Or and stuff. Endless. What does that mean for you and me? that everything has no destination. There is no final destination. Everything is endless. There is no, well, okay, I, I made it the best that it could be. <laughs> it's godly energy here, which means it could be better. You have a perfect marriage, it could be even better. Everything can be better because there's godly manifestation in it and Hashem is endless it's actually Zora says not endless it's no end endless even sounds like there's an end and even the word no end doesn't even really put it into perspective what does it mean no end no end even when I say the word no end there's an end to that do you understand what no end means no end no end the human being can't, can't grasp what it means, no end. What does it mean I'm stuck? What does it mean I'm a victim? I'm powerless. It goes against the grain of your nature. You could do everything about everything. There's no, there's no, Hashem doesn't create victims. There's no such thing as a victim. There's no such thing as I'm stuck. Everything moves. And the goal, it's not just the ability, the goal is to keep moving, to go with the flow. That's why it's when we say go with the flow of life, that's health. You don't get stuck. You go with the flow of life. You wanted to go to ShopRite, you ended up going to Target, go with the flow of life. Right? I'm just kidding, but I'm not kidding, right? You go with the flow of life. You wanted to marry this one and you meant to marrying that one, go with the flow of life. That's where you're supposed to be. You wanted to buy a house here, it didn't work out, you ended up working out somewhere else, go with the flow of life. That's what energy is. It's, right? Going and allowing yourself, because that's divine will. If you were taken here, that's what Hashem wants. 
right? There, that's why there is no could have, would have, should have. There is no could have, would have, should have. I always, when I teach Daily Joseph of Amuna, I say, could have, would have, should have is anti Amuna words. If it could have and it should have, it would have. You know that? If it could have and it should have, it would have.